Good day everyone. Welcome to this presentation. I am Captain Ronnie Rani. In this video, I will be explaining the solution to the problem numbers 7, 8, 9 and 10 from exercise 1 in Captain Subramaniam's textbook, Ship Stability 1. Problem 7. It states, a tank with a horizontal base and vertical sides is 10 meters deep and has a rectangular trunk weigh 1 meter high. The volume of the tank given is 8000 cubic meters and that of the trunk weigh is 500 cubic meters. Find the allege when 5320 tons of vegetable oil of RD 0 0.7 is loaded in the tank. <coughs> So this information is given to us in the problem. Volume is equal to mass divided by relative density and that works out to the mass of the oil is 5320, the relative density of the oil is 0 0.7 and that works out to 7600 cubic meters of the oil is to be loaded inside the tank. Area is equal to volume divided by height. Area, the volume given is 8000 and the height is 10. Thus the area works out to 800 square meters. <coughs> Depth of the oil within the tank is volume divided by area. Volume being 7600 and area being 800 gives us the depth of the oil equal to 9.5 meters. Allege inside the tank, that is the main tank, is 10 minus 9.5, that is 0 0.5, and to that you add the height of the trunk way of 1 meter, you get the total allege equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 equal to 1.5 meters. Going on to problem number 8. A rectangular tank has a total depth of 21 meters and a volume of 20,600 cubic meters, <clears throat> which includes a trunk way of a depth 1 meter and a volume of 600 cubic meters. Thus, as you see in the, as you see in the diagram, the total volume is 20,600, 600 being the volume of the trunk way and 20,000 being the volume of the main tank. The total height from the top of the trunkway to the bottom of the tank is 21 meters and the height of the trunkway given is 1 meter. Therefore, the height of the main tank is 20 meters. Allege has to be calculated after oil of 0 0.8 RD and a mass equal to 16,320 metric tons is loaded in this tank. Height of the tank excluding the trunkway is 21 minus 1 equal to 20 meters which I already mentioned earlier as well as volume of the tank is equal to 20,600 minus 600 equal to 20,000 cubic meters. This is, of course, excluding the trunkway. <coughs> Area of the tank is 20,000 divided by 20. Area of the main tank is 20,000 divided by 20 is equal to 1,000 square meters. Volume of the oil is equal to mass divided by relative density equal to 16,320 <coughs> divided by 0 0.8 equal to 20,400 cubic meters. Now, if you notice, the volume of the main tank is 20,000 and the volume of the oil within the tank is 20,400. Thus, 400 cubic meters of the oil is inside this trunkway until this red line that you see. And we have to calculate the allege from the red line 
that is the surface of the oil to the top of the trunkway. Since the volume of the trunkway is 600 and 400 cubic meters of the oil is inside the trunkway, the volume of the free space above is 200 cubic meters. <clears throat> depth of this oil, depth of the oil within the trunkway will be 400 divided by 600, volume divided by area. How is area equal to 600 in this case? Volume is 600, height of the trunkway is 1, therefore area is also equal to 600 square meters. So depth of the oil is equal to volume divided by area, 400 divided by 600 equal to 0.667 meters and the allage is 1 minus 0 0.667 equal to 0 0.333 meters. Now we move on to problem number 9. Problem number 9 states, a rectangular tank has a total depth of 10.5 meters and volume of 8200 cubic meters, which includes a trunkway of depth 0 0.5 meters and volume of 200 cubic meters. Find the mass of oil of RD 0 0.8 loaded and the allage if 2% of the volume of the tank is left for expansion. And this is just an extension of the problem that we have done earlier. <clears throat> Sorry. This is the information that is given to us in the problem. Volume of the tank excluding the trunkway is equal to 8200 minus 200 equal to 8000 cubic meters and height of the tank excluding the trunkway is equal to 10.5 minus 0 0.5 equal to 10 meters. 2% of the total volume of the tank has to be left for expansion. That is 2% of 8200 and that gives us 164 cubic meters. Therefore volume of the oil to load equal to 8200 minus 164 equal to 8036 cubic meters and we convert that to mass you multiply by the relative density and you get the mass of the oil loaded is equal to 6428.8 metric tons. Now just a question Will the level of the oil go into the trunkway? The volume of the main tank is 8000 cubic meters <coughs> and the volume of the oil loaded is 8036 cubic meters. Therefore, 36 cubic meters of oil will be in the trunkway. So, volume of the trunkway is area into the height, area being length into breadth and that is given as 200 cubic meters in the problem. Thus area equal to 200, volume divided by height is equal to 400 square meters. So allage equal to volume of the free space divided by area equal to 164 divided by Four, uh, by 400 equal to 0 0.410 meters. <clears throat> 164 we have is from here that is 2% of the volume of the tank to be left for expansion. Moving on to problem 10 now. 
A rectangular tank has a total depth of 21 meters and volume 10,250 cubic meters, which includes a trunkway of a depth 1 meter and volume 250 cubic meters. Oil of RD 0.9 is to be loaded so as to leave 3% of the volume of the oil loaded for expansion. Find the mass of the oil to be loaded and the final allage. Information given to us in the problem is this. And this is just an extension of a problem that we had done earlier. <coughs> So let V be the volume of the oil to be loaded and 3% of this is equal to 0.03 V. So the total volume of the tank is equal to volume of the oil that is loaded plus the volume of the free space. Volume of the tank given is 10,250. Volume of the oil is cap V and volume of the free space required is 0.03 V, 3% of that volume equal to 1.03 V. <coughs> Thus the volume of the oil loaded is equal to 10250 divided by 1.03 and that gives us 9951.456 cubic meters. Multiply that by the relative density and you have the mass of the oil loaded equal to 8956.3 metric tons. Now, the volume of the main tank is 10,000 cubic meters, but the volume of the oil loaded is 9951.456. <clears throat> that means the volume is loaded, that means the oil is loaded until the red line that you see in the diagram which is with, well within the main tank structure itself. <coughs> Sorry. Volume of the free space in the tank is equal to 10,000 minus 9951.456 equal to 48.544 cubic meters depth of free space equal to volume divided by area and that is 48.544 divided by in the denominator 10,000 divided by 20 which gives us an answer of one of 0 0.097 meters to that you have to add the height of the trunkway that is one meter Therefore, the total allege is 1.097 meters. Thank you very much for your kind attention and hope you like the video and the explanations to the problems 7, 8, 9 and 10. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, share as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and goodbye.